everybody. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Jackie. I'm a marketing specialist at Schneider and I'm joined here today in a truck with Herb and he's going to teach us some tips and tricks um, about how to cook on on the road. It's almost lunchtime so take it away. All right you can save a lot of money. It's expensive to eat in the truck stops and stuff like that. So cooking inside your truck is, is an economical way to eat healthy and to save money. Uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to pick up one of these lunch boxes uh, at one of the truck stops or you can find them on Amazon and you can plug it in and you can cook inside your truck. Uh, some of the things that you'll want to do is be able to uh, be prepared before you get out there. Buy your seasonings. Uh, Instead of buying them at a truck stop and things like that, go to dollar stores or to the grocery store and you can buy them a lot cheaper. You can prep your food before you leave. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, go over how to cook a uh, chicken and carrot uh, lunch. And the size lunch we're going to uh, prepare could provide, possibly provide two meals for you depending on how much you eat. So once you get the lunch box, you're going to want to get rid of all the stuff inside. You'll wipe it down and clean it up, and we've already done that. Uh, after that, you're going to want to prep it. There's a couple of things you can do. You can buy these pre-made pans. Uh, they're about three for a dollar. Uh, you can put those in there. Uh, I was a little bit too cheap uh, to buy these, so what I do is I just buy a roll of tin foil. Uh, it costs you about a nickel. It's really easy. You'll take and tear off a couple of pieces and you'll line it with that. It also gives you a little bit more room than the pans do. So you take and line it and it gives you the ability to uh, not leak and spill inside so when you when you get done clean up is real easy. We got our pan ready. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side. And today we're going to do chicken, so I'm just going to grab another piece to put over here so that I've got a piece to lay the chicken on. Chicken on. And I'll get the chicken breast. Uh, you can do this. Uh, these chicken breasts, two of these, uh, were about uh, $4. I found them on sale. So what I want to do is I want to take and lay the chicken out. And then I'm going to season it so that it has some flavor. If you have a uh, high blood pressure or something like that, you want to uh, cut down on the salt. This is an easy way to do it. Something else that you're going to have is you're going to have wipes. So when you're handling chicken or any other food, you're going to use these wipes to make sure that you constantly clean up so you don't contaminate your food. Once we clean our hands, we'll go ahead and grab seasoning. The seasoning that uh, that I've chosen today is like a uh, garlic herb type seasoning. So you just want to take and sprinkle that on liberally. Depends on how, how seasoned you like your food. And then once you get it on, just kind of pat it in so that it stays on. We'll flip it over and we're going to do both sides. I'll wipe my hands off again. Once we get them seasoned, then we can take, uh, like I said, you're constantly cleaning your hands because you don't want to contaminate the food or anything else. Once we get them seasoned, we'll take and we'll place them inside the cooker. And when you do this, you're, uh, the best uh, way I've found to do it is you do it in the morning after you get up. We'll go ahead and set the cooker up. We'll have it ready. It'll sit on the floor by you about nine, nine o'clock or so, about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes before you get ready to eat. You just reach over, plug it in, and it'll be perfect when you get ready to stop. Once we do that, then we're going to get ready to cook our carrots. We'll take another piece of tin foil and put on the top for the carrots. It kind of keeps them separated and allows us to, to be able to control them. If they get start getting done, we can pull them off center. And then we'll take and put the carrots on the top. And 
as you can see, this is a pretty good sized meal, so you could probably t make two meals out of this, and we're making two meals for uh, probably cost you about six or seven dollars, depending on how much you pay for the chicken. And then for the seasoning for the carrots, I just use a veg veggie seasoning mix. Now, can so, you buy that at any, any supermarket? You, you can. You can buy it at Walmart, places like okay. that. Another way to save money is what I would do is I would leave home stocked up with food where I didn't have to buy any right away. And then once I uh, ran out towards the end of the week, I would pull into Walmart. I would go to their meat section. They have stuff that's marked down that's going out of date. It's still good, but they've marked the price way down. You can buy that and you're not gonna you're not gonna take it home and freeze it. You're gonna cook it over the next few days anyway. So that's a good way to say that. Really and then you're gonna just take and fold all of this in and we'll take and close it. And these, depending on the model you have, these will have a cord that you take and pull out. And when you pull the cord out, then you're gonna plug it into the cigarette lighter whenever you get ready for it to cook. So, um, as a disclaimer, there's no open heating elements. Um, Correct. Uh, our company policy does not allow any open flames or any uh, type of uh, hot plate or anything like that or, or open flame heaters inside the truck. Okay. So um, the, the new tractors have APUs um, in them to power more cooking equipment as well as fridges. Um, can you kind of show us around where you can put those type of equipment? Okay. In this truck right here, this is one of the this is the, one of the very first trucks they ever built. There uh, is a place here to uh, mount your cooler so that you can strap it in so that it doesn't bounce around. In the later model trucks from about July on of this year, in this area will come with a refrigerator straight from the factory. Uh, so it's a it's an install from the factory. Uh, up here where I have my spices setting for this one is where you put in a microwave. Typically you want to buy about a 750, 800 watt microwave. Anything any bigger, you run the chance of overloading the system. Uh, and you don't give yourself power for anything else. Okay. All right. And through kind of the magic of, we didn't want you to have to stay on here for uh, an hour and a half or so, uh, put one of these on earlier so, uh, Whenever you open it up, you're going to find that it's going to smell fantastic. It smells uh, really good in here right now. The carrots carrots are cooked and the chicken is cooked. And whenever you cut into it, you'll find that it's juicy and it really tastes good. I took a really big bite, <laughs> and it's really good. <laughs> I cut a truck size, truck size bite. <laughs> and mm. then you have the carrots that will come. I, I like my carrots um, where they've got just a little bit of crunch to them. I do them. too. So uh, you're going to find that these are going to uh, have just a little bit of crunch. If I can get one on here. All right, let's try this. Without spilling, right? Mm hmm. They're and sweet you, and they still have that little bit of crunch. I love it. And you can adjust the seasoning to your taste, whatever suits you. When you go into a restaurant, it's how they fix it. This, you can you can add salt, you can delete the salt if you have high blood pressure. Uh, not only can you use the uh, lunch box for cooking, they also make uh, frying pans that are 12 volt. They also make uh, crock pots. Uh, you wanna make sure you get a crock pot that has the strap across the top so that if it does get bounced over that it doesn't spill everywhere it keeps the top on securely and um, you can have pancakes you can have uh, fried egg sandwiches and stuff like that whatever type of food that you like or is comfort food or that you grew up with and that's how to make a simple easy meal uh, at a reasonable price and to save money on the road you can eat like this every day for 50 to 70 bucks, where if you go into a truck stop and eat this, it's probably gonna cost you uh, 140 to 200 bucks a, a week. And it's probably a lot healthier than a, a healthier. truck stop would yes. be. And when you're stuck at a location where you ran out of hours or the customer doesn't load you in time, 
you can cook this while you're sitting there so you don't have to worry about going hungry or without food. That's a good idea. We're looking for some of your recipe ideas. What do you guys cook on the road? Um, is there something you guys want to show us? Is there any other recipes that you really enjoy um, that are healthy that you like to cook with this? <clears throat> I will, uh, you can pretty much cook everything. The only thing that I haven't had good success with is baking. Uh, I would okay. go in and buy cube steak when it was, they was going out of date and take and put it in here and put water in it and kind of almost boil it. And then when it was done, I would take and uh, pat it dry and then put it between two pieces of bread and make a steak sandwich. It was just like a poor man's steak sandwich that I grew up with. Yeah. And it's real cheap. You can make sandwiches for two days for uh, four or five bucks. So you guys keep following us for more um, recipes, um, herbs with herb. So keep following us on social media. Um, if you guys are interested to learn more about chucking opportunities with Schneider, uh, you can visit our website. It's schneiderjobs.com or you can call a recruiter to talk to them today. The number is 844-PRIDE. Um, and that's, I think that's it. Do you have any other tips and tricks? Oh, also, we have a giveaway. Um, so we are, if you follow us on Instagram, uh, we're giving away a 12 volt, 12 volt, volt portable stove. Um, so the link will be in the comments um, on our Instagram page. So go and follow us on Instagram as well. All right, That's it everybody. Time. Bye. Thanks for joining us.